I already know what some of you may be thinking. Why is he on screen? Why am I forced to look at this ugliness for however long this video will be? Well, um, there's actually a reason why I'm on screen making this video as opposed to, you know, my usual format, just having a still image and talk over that still image and sparing you from having to look at my ugly fucking fat face, but... Trust me, there's a reason why I am uh, doing the video in this style as opposed to my usual format. And you'll see why towards the end. I'm not going to outright say why I am doing the video this way. You'll, you, it'll be very clear to you at the end. Anyway, uh, I, I want to talk about Trump's very controversial statements he made the other day about uh, video games and how video games could lead to violence. More specifically, uh, how video games could lead to mass shootings like the ones that just happened uh, this past weekend in El Paso and Dayton. Anyway, uh, I'm sure you're um, expecting me to condemn this very notion that uh, video games can, in fact, lead to violence and, you know, uh, just call Trump out and call out all these boomers who are also saying this shit and, you know, uh, pretty much say what I already said years ago when I made a video about this very subject already. But uh, I, I guess you expect me to just reiterate the same thing over and over again like I did in that video a few years back. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to agree with what Trump said for once. <laughs> I know, right? Shocker. Anyway, I do think video games can lead to violence, and I think Trump has a very valid point when he, when he said that video games can lead to violence, and we need to um, do something about these evil, evil uh, satanic games that are uh, plaguing our children of today and making them these violent psychopaths that could go out and shoot a bunch of people in a public area. Anyways, uh, I guess, um, uh, assuming you're still here watching and then just rage quit and go, uh, write an angry comment in the comment section just from me saying that I'm, that I agree with the, st with the Trump statements regarding video games, I guess I'll explain myself and say why I think this way. Well, this is actually going to be very personal, um, because this has a lot to do with me and how video games ruined my life and changed me for the absolute worst. Anyways, um... I, I remember getting my GameCube when I was five, I think. This was around the time the Wii came out, but I wanted a GameCube instead for whatever reason. Whatever. Anyway, uh, I, I started off playing these, uh, you know, the, the, these licensed games, these, uh, these games starring cartoon characters like Nickelodeon characters, Cartoon Network characters, things like that. You know, really shitty games, actually, in hindsight. But, you know, I, I was five, you know, I wanted to play a game with uh with with peop with characters like SpongeBob on it and such and then eventually I moved on to Nintendo games and uh you know like Mario and Zelda and such you know and those were fun too but you know uh you know like uh that 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 NTSGW rabbit hole a lot of these people are talking about these days where you know you watch people like uh Steven Crowder and Ben Shapiro and then some people would watch those people and then eventually move on to more extremist channels and then eventually they hang out in these very uh extremely right wing these these very far right wing forums and such and then eventually they become an alt right neo nazi that was kind of like me with video games now obviously not as extreme, but I noticed, uh, you know, um, uh, when I started, you know, I started playing these, uh, licensed games with cartoon characters and such in it, and then I started playing Nintendo games, and then eventually I moved on to more mature, violent, rated M games, uh, like, uh, Doom and Wolfenstein, and I, I, I noticed, like, whenever something would piss me off in a mission or an online match, things like that. I would get really pissed off. Like, I would just bang really hard on the wooden table I have that's in front of my TV. Uh, fake wooden table, I should say. It's not actually made of wood. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I really did beat the shit out of that table. And surprisingly, it's still in one piece, you know. And sometimes I would bang on the wall and such. Surprisingly, there's not even a hole in the wall. Maybe there's a little crack. I don't know. But, um... Anyways, I, I should probably really apologize to the table and the wall if they will accept my apology. Maybe an apology isn't enough because I've been beating the shit out of both of those things for years now, playing my uh, evil satanic video games. Anyways, uh, my, my point is, you know, um, the, 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 the video games have certainly made me go violent. You know, sometimes I'd play an online match and I would think, you know... 
Uh, th th this person's really pissing me off in this match. It would be cool if they died a really painful death, like they get shot in the head or worse than that. Things li I would think things like that, all right? It's obviously not on me. I. It's obviously not my own fucked up mind. It's obviously the video games that are poisoning my mind, of course. And, you know, if you think otherwise, if you really think that this, this is a problem with me and not video games, then you're a fucking idiot. And please unsubscribe from my channel because I don't want people stupid like you watching my videos. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't expect to get angry there. See, that, that's what video games do to me. Even in, even in a video where I'm condemning video games and how they changed me for the worse and how they made me a more angry person and a more violent person, here I am getting angry on video towards people who I'm probably never going to meet in real life. This is just what video games do to you, man, honestly. And, you know, I, I'm, I think I'm on my path of redemption, honestly. Um, I, I found God. I've been reading the Bible a lot. I've been praying a lot to God every night. I've been singing the national anthem, too, to myself. I, was, I, I, I don't have a flag yet, but I'm going to put a big American flag on my ceiling. And I'm going to do the Pledge of Allegiance every day when I wake up in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever I choose to wake up. And, you know, I, I'm also conservative now. Um, again, like I mentioned, I found God, so I'm a hardcore Christian now. I guess you could call me a born-again Christian if you really want to attach that label to me. And I'm not the uh, edgy atheist libtard like a lot of people, um, how, you know, like a lot of people knew me as up until this point, but... I'm a changed man. I also, uh, I, I also took my anger and violence out on my um, old video game systems. I have a GameCube. I smashed the GameCube. I have a Wii. I smashed the Wii. I didn't smash the Wii U, though. Um, there's this weird guy I know that prowls around on the internet with uh, an Obama profile pic that loves to smash Wii U. So he smashed my Wii U for me. So thank you, man. Uh, but I'm going to smash my Switch on camera. That's why I'm on camera right now. Uh, here it is. I don't have a hammer. I don't know where the fuck the hammer is that we have in this house. So, um, I'm gonna smash it with my pro controller. And I I'm gonna smash the pro controller afterwards. So, you know, um... I'm finally ridding my life of these evil video games. Thank you, Donald Trump, for helping me see the light. I'm also a big Trump supporter now. My, uh, MAGA cap should be coming, uh, in the mail within a few days, too. Suck it, libtards. Anyway... I'm going to do it. I'm just really nervous right now because, you know, part, part of my uh, old self is still inside uh, inside of me and it's screaming, No, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't smash the switch. I'm going to do it, okay? I'm going to fucking do it.